if you wanted to render an image in the early 90s, you know, it took a high-end supercomputer to render an image. Now you can render an image on your phone. Face recognition used to be an expensive niche application. <clears throat> you know, now it's a commodity feature on, on, on a low-end smartphone, right? And so you knew the same thing was going to happen with large language models. You know, they start out expensive. They start out needing huge amounts of, of compute power. And they wind up cheap and, and commoditized. So none of that's surprising. What's interesting is just how fast it happened, right? And how suddenly it happened. But wait a minute. Hold on. We're supposed to be on the dawn of the technological singularity, right? I mean, Ray Kurzweil foresaw singularity coming in 2029. Well, the notion of the singularity is, as you get there, technological advances are having faster and faster and faster until it seems to be happening, you know, almost incomprehensibly fast to the human eye. Well, this is exactly the kind of thing you would expect to see as you get closer and closer to the singularity is advances happening way faster than your, your intuition would lead you to expect because our intuitions are they're sort of tuned by evolution for linear thinking. They're not tuned for exponential thinking. And what, what, we, what we're seeing now is, you know, the kind of exponential advance you see as you as you get close to the to the singularity, right? And uh, I mean, deep seek is just one of many many interesting moments like this uh, that 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 we're going to see as as the last years before the before the singularity unfolds.